And the last, this is the last session, but as I said, we'll come back and mop up, you know, put in the practice that we need to put in. So we talked about using a Mentimeter, and I'm going to show you how to do this. Of course, all these apps have a paid side to it, just like Zoom, but I utilize the free things and they work just fine. You know, if you're doing anything, could be, you know, we're utilizing Zoom for so many things. And if you're putting on, it could be a meetup with someone or you haven't seen them and you just want to cut, or it could be something you want to collaborate on or you want to get, or you're teaching a lesson for Sabbath school, et cetera. And all of these things help. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to menti.com. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to just open that browser. So when you type in menti.com, this is what it comes up with. You need to sign in. You need to have an account. But I'm already signed into an account. So you see, you click on join. Let me go back if you didn't see so you go to menti.com. You see this bit that it says powered by Mentimeter. That's what you click to sign up. So you click that and this page comes up. I am already signed up. So it says your presentations. I'm going to go to my presentations, which are all there. Every presentation that I've ever created is on here. And you're going to see that I use it for a range of different things. So I use it to teach my lessons. I use it for Sabbath school. So it's really, it's really, really helpful. But you want to, when you go to, when you've signed up and you go to um, my presentations, you are not going to have any presentations because you've just signed up. So all you have to do is click new presentation to create a presentation. And then it could be that you want to do a question and answer session. So I'm just gonna do q and A. It's easier than writing out. Here's my q and A. Okay. You're gonna create a, um, it's taking a little while to create. So this gives you a lot of different options. You could do, so let me move, yeah. So as you see, you see here where it has, I'm going to get my annotation tool so I can spotlight, yes. So you see, you could do a multiple choice. You could do a word cloud. I like doing word clouds. Um, you could do open-ended as I did before the first session when I asked you, what have you learned? That's open-ended. It could be a question and answer. It's a Q and A. You could rank things. You could ask someone to rank. You could do scales. You could even do a quiz or a competition, or you could just ask. So with the quiz or competition, you ask a question and they type in what they want. So there are a lot of different um, types that you can do, right? So we, what I like about the word cloud is that it's just words that come up. So it, it's like a word, but because we're going to, um, what should I do? You guys can tell me what I should do. What do you want me to create? Um, word cloud, you tell me and I'll, do that one. Apply the word cloud, Susan. Yeah. And then what could we, and then when you click that, it tells your participants where to go to take part. So you can either just put this up, they'll see menti.com, or you, if you want to share, so you go and you copy that link and post it wherever, and they click on that link and they get go right into your menti meter so what question should we put and as you see it has all the questions that i've ever well i've done with a word cloud right so um i could say 
I could say use, um, so in one word, what, Um, what do you learn today, right? In one word, what do you learn today? Or it could be um, some of the training in one word, right? So that is your question or your task. And I put that I'm allowing my participants three entries. So you have three opportunities. And, or you could say, um, so you could let participants submit multiple times, or if you don't, if you just want them to have one um, opportunity, you can do that as well. So this saves automatically. You don't have to click save. That's a good thing about the Mentimeter. You don't have to click, this is saved. If you notice, if we go down, there isn't any save button because it's it's just there and it will be in your account, right? So that's something um, that I'm going to send over for you to take part in as well. And we have created a Menti board. Um, and it says it's, um, it's live for two days. So when you create it, you still have, have the um, board and you can, um, okay, I have to present it to be able to copy the, I wanna copy this. Yeah, so I'll copy that and send it. I'll put it in the um, chat for you as well. So that is the Menti um, board um, that I talk a lot about. Oh yes, they're uploaded. They're uploaded. So before we do Padlet, which is the last thing, we will go on to um, share those. So you have them on and you can click them to open. So if you click on, I have a video on there and I have an audio. Click it, it will open on your um, device and then leave it open so you can share. Who wants to go? I'm going to, each of you are going to have a go. So who wants to go first? We're thinking about how to do it. <laughs> <We're Okay. serious. laughs> have you clicked on it? Did it open when you clicked on it? Uh, let me try. Okay. Yeah, so no. in the chat, I've, uh, put a uh, video and uh, an audio because you're going to be sharing video and audio because it doesn't make sense if you don't apply it, you know. So I want you to have a go at applying. So I've given you your video and audio that you're going to share, but you have to click the link on in the chat for it to open. Did it open when you clicked on the link? Mm, it doesn't open for me. Wow. Um, SLA, it's like I have to kind of maybe no, maybe copy it and paste it in the but it um, doesn't really it just open like that. But you see, sis, when I I don't know if you can can you see when I hover over, you see the three dots that come up. I could open the music one, but I can't open the um the top one. Okay, so have you opened one, sis? Yeah. Right. So can you have that open on your um browser and then can you share it, please, using what all I've said? So go to share. Uh, go to the box opens. First of all, click share sound. Mm, yeah. At the bottom. Can you see it now? I'll press. No, you're not sharing. So you need to then, when you click share sound and you select what you want to share, then at there's a blue, blue button on your right, hmm. should be your right, hmm. and you click that, and then 
you will come on. Yeah, that bit I'm okay with, but it's just being able to open the link. No. Okay, so did it open? No, it doesn't open for me. So none of them opens? No, I've hoovered my case over them to try to see if they can open. Did you mm. click on it? Did you click on it directly? Like double click? Sure. Well, when I try to double click the highlight instead. Oh, mm. so they don't, um, because you should be able to either double click or um, get the green, the three dots. So the three dots don't come up at all. If you move your um, cursor along, does it come up as a hand? No. No. Okay. Do you have a video at all that you can share? Uh, not on this computer because it's a new laptop. So I haven't really downloaded anything unless if I have. Yeah, I haven't. If I send something to you via WhatsApp, will you be able to get it on your um so I can hear a song but but you're not sharing it. Yeah, I can hear it as well. Sister Lynn, I think trying, it's I'm trying, I'm trying to share it. <laughs> so it's it open on your laptop, yeah. but you haven't shared it. So Sister Lynn, you need to click um share. I am. I'm clicking on share, but on the top, on the on the bottom left, you will find. And after you click share, on the bottom left, you're gonna find share sound. And when I got, I'll click on that. I've got the whiteboard. Come up. I found yes. It. Yeah, below whiteboard, the very end, on the bottom left, this share sound. That's what you need to click. Oh, share sound. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it? highlighted, it's like a normal writing. Okay. So but there's a little yeah. square there you need to click and then go to share. horizontal to that. There's a share button there, which is in blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah click that. I think it's and remember to highlight what you want to share, what you want us to see. Because sometimes it's better um, when you have a video, a picture. So, was the, the whiteboard and your audio? But we didn't see your video because I think you didn't um, select the video. You select audio. Yeah. So, on your thing, you have to um, select video okay. or all we're going to see we'll hear sound yeah but we won't see your video okay. sis if you stop it um because it's playing on your device it's still playing even though you've stopped sharing yeah um yeah it's still playing on your device okay the, so you have to stop it from yeah playing as well. Just click pause or oh, I need to go back. <laughs> yeah, so go back. But then I think as a way forward, mm. um, what we're gonna do? So I'll just mute you, sis, while you yeah turn that yeah. Um, as a way forward, I think what we can do, you can form body group, well, body pairs. So you have a body to go on your basic Zoom account. You invite um, the person over and you, um, well, invite them to a Zoom meeting and do, so you deliver the meeting, you present it, um, you share you because without this without continuing to practice um you won't be able to do this so the last um thing that i wanted to look at is was padlets really so i'm going to go over to padlet and padlet is uh,
um similar so let me um just get i'm gonna escape this yeah so i can get back to padlets so padlets is padlet at sorry padlet.com this is my um yeah this is me and so you with this one you're allowed three padlets three but you can remake your padlets that's a good thing so what happens is i'm going to share this with you so you can come over here as well so i'm going to invite you i'm going to copy my link and i'm going to put it in the chat so you can come over and take part so i have sent the link in the chat for you okay so already i have put some things on here and once you have the link you can come back to have a look so with padlets what we do that x there so you can type whatever is an interactive document that we can all work on um together i'm going to make this um full screen right so i have already um how it works is you press on that plus sign will come up when the box comes up you type what you want in it what is good you can put a picture right so you could put a picture in and it will come right there or i or you can get something from google so you could type in something so if we wanted breakout rooms and get in a document about breakout rooms are we going to get that from youtube or from and then it will come up with all the things on breakout room um maybe i should say breakout room zoom to ensure that we get what we need right so you can get the help document they have blogs all you need about using breakout rooms, we could say, okay, we want to have that. So that is now on your Padlet. And if you click on it, it goes right to the blog. So it's like having all information that you need in one place, really, on one. And then you can go and read all you want on breakout rooms. All of this that we went through today. Okay. Um, so I'll go back to the Padlet. So if you wanted to add anything, I had a have a go. So this one was a video, a training video on um, Zoom. And what's good about Zoom, they have a lot of training videos that you can sign up to as well. So with this one, um, so we can type in what we want or, and I think a useful thing I'm going to put on that you guys can add to. So I'm going to put my, so, it could be, I'm going to ask you to put in um, any other training you have this one as a follow-up that you think you would like. So the thing is, as I said, about Zoom, you can use outside things as well. So I think definitely I'm going to do a training on, because we want to create a blog for the media team. 
and it would be useful to do a training and have everyone come in and we do a blog like that. Some people use Padlets to do their blogs. So they just do a Padlet for each blog and it's there and they send the link or they share the link. Okay, so that is the Padlet. And the, the um, so you can go and play around. So padlet.com, menti.com, um, go around and by all means have an account and have a go. Um, children like to do these as well. So we have our question or QA, any questions, any things, and I'm gonna go back to your questions about um. So let me go back to that, the questions. Uh, is it this one? Right, what you wanted to. And I'll basically look and see. So, okay. So um, sis, you wanted to know how the platform works. You wanted to um, use videos. The PowerPoints though, that would be a separate um, training on really how to, and I think, when I deliver that training, it's going to be very, very interactive. Like you're going to create the PowerPoints right there and then. Um, so that will be a separate training and breakout rooms. So looking at just reflecting on the training that we just did. Any questions at this point? So it's your turn over to you guys. Any questions, any further clarification that you need? I, I think for me, it's, um, it's quite, it was a very informative training, just a feedback piece. It's, it's quite informative and um, you just don't realize the amount of work that you guys have to put on behind the scenes. And um, it's a matter, I think it's a matter of, putting it into practice because some of the things, unless I do them, it's difficult for me to say whether I can do them or I cannot. Exactly. It's a shame that I wasn't able to open the link to be able to transfer that into the Zoom and be able to get the video up and running. But um, I think it's just a matter of giving it a go again and see how far I can go with it on my own time. Definitely. And I think what you should do is link with someone who has attended the training today and then say, okay, we're going to meet up. I'm going to schedule a meeting. So I'm going to go in my Zoom and put it in practice, schedule the meeting, send, send you the invite. You come to the meeting and I share something. And as you are really, you're correct when you say with this, you have to put it in, in practice and apply it or you're not going to know how confident you really are. So that's something that you have to do. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, so this is the end of the training. Um, thanks for your feedback. Thanks for your comments. Um, when I'm doing another, as I said, the next, I think a follow up from this will be creating the PowerPoints, um, doing a workshop. It will be more of a workshop, really, where you are really applying, um, applying it. Yeah. And thank you for um, attending. This thank session. you so much for taking your time off for us. Thank you so much, Sister Selfie. Thank you, Sister. You're welcome.